dabba 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 do. It's Fred's RV Park, y'all. <laughs> Love it. Hey guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic, uploading this video with Nomad Internet Unlimited link in the video description if you need some. You know, if you gotta stay at an RV park because you need the water and the dump station and you need to dump your trash and do laundry and all that fun stuff, why not stay at a fun one, right? This is a fun one, except there's a sad story to this and that is that big changes are, un are underway and uh, this place is not gonna look the same in the future, unfortunately, so this is kind of my nostalgic second and finally last stop here at the Flintstones Yabba Dabba Doo Park. Yeah, we are only 20 miles from the Grand Canyon National Park up that road, the uh, South Rim entrance. They are open. Uh, they are doing social distancing and masks inside places. Uh, I've already been there a few times, so I'm stick skipping that this year. Uh, I want to show you a little bit of this park. I think you'll really appreciate this. If you've seen some of those quirky parks from the movies, this is one of them. And it's not going to be around much longer. Right now, it doesn't look like there's much to see here. Uh, it's just pull-through sites. However, as we continue to pan left, this is all under construction. This is going to be more camping over here. And here is part of the old wall for Bedrock City here. You can see the uh, bones on top there. And these are also small little campsites as well here. Also, uh, this place closed down last year for a period of time when the new owners purchased it. They had grand plans of removing everything Flintstone related and changing it into a raptor park for birds. Yeah. And as you come in, you've got the Raptor Ranch, the new logo for the new campground. There's something wild in the air. And also the uh, campground office is being remodeled, but they've got their new sign up there. No longer says Bedrock City and the laundry, but it's still shaped like Bedrock City. You know, let's go check out the uh, laundry room. See, I love this. I really hope they don't get rid of this. I mean, it's just very, very quirky. This is fantastic. It doesn't look like they're gonna be getting rid of this because they've actually already made some changes inside here, but you got the stucco ceilings and walls and it's not level, you know, like it's all different sizes in here, a big screen TV, some couches and stuff, and the laundry room in here. Nice washers. Five dollars a load? Five dollars to dry? Holy cow! I've never seen that in my life. Holy cow. Yeah, they gotta pay for the remodel, I guess. <laughs> I can definitely wait to do laundry somewhere else. And also, you know, the campground is one-eighth full on a weekend in October, 20 miles from Grand Canyon, so it makes me wonder if they're having second thoughts about changing it over. See, they, they left the Bedrock City still open sign, and as I showed you before, Fred there and the, the Yabba Dabba Doo and everything, but I don't think it's a good idea to change it, but I don't know all the details. Maybe they couldn't get the copyright license renewed or something. I, I don't know. But legally speaking, the business has already changed to Raptor Ranch, so it is no longer Bedrock City. And like many things on uh, Route 66, this is just going to all deteriorate one day and it's going to be in our memories and old black and white pictures or, or videos like these. I never noticed that car last time I was here, little foot, the little foot car. It's definitely seen better days, but it's a fun little photo op, right? And the little bones, property markers, so cool. You don't see this every day. Phone booths, no phones left in them. <laughs> but they're just leaving parts of Bedrock City. And there's a dinosaur right there. And the new entrance, Raptor Ranch. Uh, with your $75 per night RV spot over there, we still get to go back behind the uh, ranch store here and uh, check out the scenery. So I'm gonna go look for the first time and see what it looks like. Last time I was here, Aja came here and it was raining and snowing and miserable. Today it's a beautiful day, so go check it out. See, I hate to think they're gonna get rid of all this stuff, born in bedrock, or are they just gonna rebrand it to all Raptor stuff? I don't know. All right, here we are back here, Bedrock City, Arizona. Palm trees, a volcano with a Raptor on it. Actually, that kind of fits their, their new theme with the Raptor on there, although it's prehistoric. Oh, we got, we got one hatch in here. Yeah. 
And Fred's car here. It looks like it's got some newer paint on it. Oh, I get it. It's Fred's uh, gas station here. Kind of like the, the dino gas station. Oh, I love it. And then the Wild Wild Animal Park. This would be new here, this little stage here, where they're probably at some point thinking that they're gonna do raptor demonstrations and birds and stuff, but... But see, in order for that idea, that dream to come alive, you have to create something that is better than what Bedrock City was to so many tourists going to the Grand Canyon. And I just don't know if they're gonna be able to pull it off, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'll eat my words in five years. I don't know. All right, what do we got here? The Bedrock City Grocery Store. Let's go check this one out. <laughs> Watermelon, we got some dino eggs in there. Today's special is cactus juice. We've got meats, rhinoceros, ribs, hornosaurus ham, and brontosaurus beef. Yum, yum, yum. That's great. What we got over here looks like the barber shop. Oh, the Rock Head Beauty Salon. Okay. Oh my. That that's that's one style that you, that you could go for, I suppose. Wow. And then next door is the barber shop, right? I think. Sandy Gravel Clipologist. <laughs> Look at those big huge pair of scissors there. Oh, that's awesome. And the local UPS airmail post office. Oh, that's great. See, this, this theming is awesome. We need more of this in the country. And better yet, we need companies to not buy them out and then change everything. Mm. Grumpy, gonna be grumpy. Yeah, I just realized also as I'm, as I'm looking around, there's a lot of people. There's at least uh, two dozen people here also just looking around. None of these people are camping. These are all people who have stopped from the Grand Canyon, paid their $5 to just come in and look at Bedrock City. So think about that, Raptor Ranch. Consider that, please. You don't know your customers. Ah, <laughs> oh, who are we taking a picture of here? <laughs> at least he's smiling, right? Thanks for the smile, dude. Well, we got Dino's Bowl here, which means we must be at Fred's house. <laughs> That's great. At the kitchen. Yep. It's the, the bedroom in here. Kind of dark in there. <laughs> That's great. Man, I'd live in something like this. It's awesome. And Barney's house over here. <laughs> oh, I love the living room. Home sweet home. Just like I remember. Actually, I don't know if it's accurate to the show. Look at that stove. <laughs> a stove and oven made out of bedrock. And the rake outside of Barney's house there made out of bones. Uh huh. We got the policeman's house here. Very colorful. It almost reminds me of some places in uh, Slab City. They're at uh, Salvation Mountain, kind of. Dino there is actually a slide. You can climb up him and slide down his tail. I don't need to do it. I kind of want to do it. I'm going to do it. I want to do it. Just like from the uh, Flintstones intro. I mean, I don't think he actually walked upstairs to get down the dinosaur's tail, but that's how we're going to do it. Do you think that slide looks safe, guys? Sure, sure. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Encore. On okay, one more time. Look at this slithering monster, guys. He's hungry. Hungry for some humans. <laughs> All right, Bedrock City, you be well. Do you have a plan for the day, or are you just going to do this all day? Are you, are you petting your own face? You're petting your own face, aren't you? You are so funny looking and cute. Okay. Uh, it's been brought to my attention uh, in, my, in my last couple videos that some of my viewers aren't, aren't used to the look um, because when I use my DSLR camera here, you know, it puts my face in, well, it puts what I want in focus and the other stuff's going to be blurred in the background. That's, that's the way the camera works. It's a lot different than the GoPro, which I'll be honest, I kind of got used to just vlogging all the time with my GoPro, and as you know, that was taken from me in Vegas and still no update from the pawn store about my property or my saddlebag. Uh, I, 
I, I, I know it kind of looks better. Like, if I'm talking, you can look behind me and always see what's behind me. So, um, actually, I want to get your opinion. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my GoPro 7 dash cam up here. And I'm going to attach the uh, good microphone to it. And we're going to walk and talk outside. Actually, across the street, I see some quirky stuff over at this gas station over here. So, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna GoPro the rest of the video after this. And you can let me know if, if you like that view better. Okay? Just remember, the, the 7 here doesn't have the super smooth stabilization that my 8 did. It's still better than, in a lot of ways, it's a lot better than that Panasonic DSLR that I, that I vlog with all the time. Uh, it does show the imperfections behind me, but you know, oh well. Uh, weather, I know I've been talking about weather a lot late, lately too. And you know, again, my, my videos are delayed by up to two weeks sometimes. But it's been weird because at Aja's party thing, it was upper 80s every day. And that was about 10 to 15 degrees above normal. And now tonight, the low is 33 degrees. So we went from it being 95 degrees inside the RV and no way to cool it down to now I got to run the heater here at the RV park because it's going to almost freeze. And that's crazy. But we're going to cross the highway here and go over to this uh, place right over here. Oh, first place I want to look at across the street is rocks and more here. These steel creations are beautiful and they would be so cool for like yard art or something at my house. However, again, they are literally steel. They're heavy, but they've got that cool rusty patina. The ones I was looking at in Illinois were actually uh, molds of... A aluminum cast, a cast aluminum, a lot lighter, and they're all just gray. You'd have to paint them or, or, or something, but I mean, they got a lot here, and they're all priced a little differently, and some of them have had a rough day. Oh my. Were you beaten up on your little brother? You leave him alone. You guys behave. Do they have a bad windstorm here? They're all knocked over in this fence. <laughs> I don't know, but they're pretty cool. Eventually, I've got to have something quirky out front of my house. Just don't know what it's going to be yet. This is what caught my eye from the other side of the road is this Route 66 store with some classic cars like the old Army Jeep over there and the police car. Old Ford pickup truck with a service attendant inside the truck. Yeah, look at that 57 Chevy Bel Air. Mm-hmm. It's got some of that Arizona dirt dust on it like my RV does. Look at all these old gas pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pumps. Tweety bird. Lots of hot rods and rat rods coming here on this particular section of Route 66 in Williams. I like the flame job on this El Camino too. The 396. Even the bed there is clean. I can kind of hear some 50s music playing out of the speaker. <laughs> Just for reference, it's right next to the Shell Station. It's also a Route 66 museum in there, which would be cool to see. But one of the things I've noticed so far being inside Arizona, a Arizona is a state that's wide open, by the way, as far as COVID is concerned, but a lot of the uh, reservation owned places are closed. They, they just they just don't want tourists in there right now. And they're they're going to wait till COVID is completely gone before allowing us to buy magnets. <laughs> I mean, to them, it's like better safe than sorry. But they said this seven and a half months ago back when it was only going to be 15 days, you know, so now it's like, OK, see you in a few years when you're when you think you're ready to allow our business back. I got to cross this highway. I know, I know. I bring up COVID in every single video, Eric. Why do you always talk about COVID? Look, COVID is a part of our lives now, guys. <laughs> Unlike other people, I am not going to pretend like it doesn't affect us. It affects us. Oh, that's that's Mike. I just met Mike. He does uh, Grand Canyon tours over there. You know, because it's just weird. It doesn't make any sense right now. <laughs> you know? How can... <laughs> okay. Enough. It's real. It's happening. It's affecting everybody. From here, Jax and I are going to be heading... Let's see, that's north. We're gonna be heading southeast, kinda. Yeah, and gonna be doing something totally different. I am actually choosing to skip Route 66. Yes, because I want to see brand new stuff in this world, and I want to share brand new stuff with you. So, Jackson, I'll see you in two days with new adventures. We're very, 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 very excited. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.